Good morning, everyone. Well, I guess for you guys, it's not morning, but for me, it is morning. I guess hello, everyone, as per usual. Happy Tuesday. I hope everyone's having a good start to their week, making a lot of sales and finding a lot of good stuff. Today, we are in a totally different area. And for some reason, this area of the house has become my consignment video filming area. I don't know why. I am in the living room right now. I'm just in the corner by the bookshelf, as you guys can tell. Last time we did one of these, I was kind of by the step in the closet. I've literally just switched sides of the room. I don't know why I always do this, but there's just something that feels more like comfortable and more relaxed about doing these consignment videos. So if you are new here and you haven't seen one of these before, what we're doing today is we're going to go through a bunch of clothing that I have picked up from the bins for very cheap. Probably each item is about like 50 cents to possibly up to $2 a piece for me. I'm going to be showing you those items that I've been picking up and then I'm going to be taking them to a consignment store to consign and telling you guys the results that I have had. As I just said, I've been picking these up from the bins and I've been picking them up for honestly probably like three weeks. I have been waiting for my clothes mentor by me, which is the consignment store I'm going to, to start taking spring and they now have officially started taking spring and I think they've finished out their winter clearance sale so they have quite a bit of room. So I'm hoping that means more success. So clothes mentor is a buy sell trade store instead of being a traditional consignment store i've explained this before but i'll explain it again really quick a consignment store is you give them your stuff they hold on to it and put it on sale and you get money after it sells later on and a buy sell trade store is more like plato's closet or something like that where they give you money right away and usually you get less of a percent when they're buying it right away because obviously they're taking more risk so you're not going to make as much so that's what we're doing today we're doing clothes mentor as per usual with this video i will also weigh the items Items, once I'm done showing you them all to tell you how much I am in cost wise on this to see if this is worth it because we want to know if we are actually profiting off of this stuff or not. Now, of course, if somehow everything worked out really poorly and I didn't make as much money as say I spent on this stuff, the thing that makes that okay is I will probably still have a lot of this stuff left and there are plenty of other consignment and buy sell trade opportunities around me. So in the end, the odds of me actually like losing money or even breaking even on this period is very unlikely, but I'm hoping to already be in the green after this today. So my local clothes mentor announced on their Instagram that they're taking spring and they actually posted a most wanted list of categories and items that they really, really want for spring that they must not have much of. So I'm gonna put the graphic up on the screen, but I'm also gonna read it off to you until you what they're looking for. Now this is a good thing to check if you're gonna go consigning or go to the buy sell trades by you. A lot of them do this and over time they'll just say most wanted items. It's not even at the beginning of seasons. They kind of do this frequently and they'll say like oh we're low on this or we, we need some of these or like we have too much of this don't bring these in or something like that and if they don't post those very often or they haven't for a while you also can just ask them. You could call, you could visit, and they often will tell you because they want to work with you. It doesn't like hurt them to tell you what they want. Like it's, it's a win-win situation. So it's okay to ask. I ask my places a lot what categories they are low on and what they're looking for. Alrighty, so let's jump into what they're looking for. I'm gonna scoot over so you guys can see the graphic and then I will read it off to you. As for stuff that's not like super spring, they're looking for jewelry, wallets, designer bags, heels. That's kind of stuff I feel like they just want all the time, so. Let's ignore that. Spring wise, they want sandals, they want flats, they want sleeveless tops, short sleeves, athletic wear, spring jackets, lightweight cardigans, dresses, shorts, skirts, and ankle length pants. This stuff isn't very surprising though. The only thing that I see that's kind of like missing that I maybe would have possibly expected to see on here would be jeans, which I know jeans, I guess are more of like a fall winter thing, but jeans are all year. So I don't know if they just have a lot of jeans which is totally possible and my bin might have like one or two pair of jeans i don't have that much jeans in this but let's go through my stuff now i have this huge tub right here full of stuff and you're 
only allowed at clothes mentors or at least at mine to bring in one like tj maxx bag worth of stuff or one tub so i always go for the tub because the tub holds more and i always have plenty to bring in so let's go through this stuff pretty quick the sizes and stuff don't really matter but i'll kind of tell you why i'm bringing this stuff in i suppose maybe what categories they fit under so this of course is more of like a spring top this is just rachel zoe it's a very like beachy kind of like florida cabana looking top with this floral print through out. I am going to tie it shut before we bring it in. It's kind of like a linen blend, so that's very spring, and I think they'll take it. This is Banana Republic. I feel like this fits more of like a spring jacket, which they did have spring jackets as a category. Also, I've noticed that my clothes mentor really likes camo, like trendy camo items, and like leopard and animal print items so that's why i'm bringing that in this is actually an athletic top and more of like a sleeveless spring top this is by the brand daily practice which is actually anthropology i'm kind of worried that they're not going to know that but honestly, like, it doesn't really matter. I don't think that the price is gonna alter a lot just because they do or don't know that. They didn't have any kind of pants except ankle pants on the list, which again, I would picture them being okay with like linen-y, spring, flowy kind of pants. And that's what these are. So these are J. Crew, and these are some linen kind of like jogger pants. These probably are an ankle length. So I definitely could see them taking these for me and I'm hoping that they do. This is really cute. This is a long sleeve. And I guess after reading this, I'm a little nervous that they might be picky and not take really any long sleeves at all because my clothes mentor can be real sticklers when it comes to like the categories or the things they like want. And sometimes like say you bring in a really cute, nice short sleeve blouse in the fall, they will just like, nope. Sorry, we're not taking short sleeves at all, which I mean, I understand. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but this is Ann Taylor. It's this really cute like wine colored, it's actually corduroy top. It's very good for like businessy and work kind of looks or, I mean, it's a good fall piece, which is obviously not what we wanna be bringing in right now. But I think we've talked about this before. I always view, view Clothes Mentor as a much more like professional place compared to Style Encore and stuff. Hopefully they'll just take that as like a business shirt. This they got to take. You guys probably remember this because I showed it in a haul. I did try to sell it myself for a little, but it's not selling. So goodbye. <laughs> this is the Talbots extremely springy kind of like Easter tweed jacket. If you can't tell, it's like multicolor purple, pink, and light blue. So cute. This is, oh, they have to take that. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't. We got some shorts. These are by a brand called Judy Blue, which I think is like a boutique that honestly I find a lot of around here. And all the consignment stores around me seem to love that brand, so I have high hopes for that one. We have a free people top. Obviously, I usually sell free people, and this is really cute, but of course, it's so basic as well. It's a velvet pink, just like short sleeve. Adorable, but I don't think it's worth my time selling, so I'm bringing it in. We have another free people. This one is We the Free, and it's a size extra small, which doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm totally gonna be in like normal hauling mode and I'm probably gonna mess up and say a couple sizes here. <laughs> but this is really cute, crop top, kind of like lattice or lettuce hem. I don't see why they wouldn't take that. They love free people. This is adorable. This is a Zara skirt. I don't really like to sell denim skirts at all. I almost don't like to sell any skirts. Maybe just maxis are the only kinds that I like. But this is a newer label. And though this is kind of more of a junior's piece, I would say they take Zara all the time. Time, so I'm sure they'll take that. There's a couple pieces in here that I'm kind of hoping they'll maybe like give me a little more for because they technically are more of like a designer piece and this is one of them. So if they take this, I'm hoping they give me a bit. It's Trina Turk, size 12. And Trina Turk, though she's expensive retail, reselling her stuff is impossible and it doesn't really garner much money. I think they'll take this. I don't really see why they wouldn't. And it's a really good size for a designer piece. So, yeah. <laughs> we have another Zara piece. This is a top. Again, newer label. I don't think I would take them anything older label, except there might be one <laughs> in here. But this is... Again, really cute. It's linen, so, so good for spring. We have this, which is a new with tags piece. Otherwise, I wouldn't bring this in. So this is more of like an athletic top with this like cross back. And this is by Gap. It was originally 45 bucks. I love to get new with tags for them. Like, 
Of course, they love to take new tags. I will grab almost anything that's new tags. This is a Lulu's piece. This one I'm not so sure of. It's just like a t-shirt dress. It's a little basic and I could see them passing on this one, but it's in really good shape. And Lulu's is another brand that a lot of my consignment stores do really like. This dress is freaking so cute. This is actually loft which I find so much of around here. And it's actually a romper. Okay, so now I'm a little more worried about it. So I've noticed something that my consignment stores don't like is rompers and jumpsuits. I don't know if it's just because they're not very like trendy anymore and a lot of people don't buy them, but I have the hardest time, especially bringing them jumpsuits. So we'll see, gulp. <laughs> these are really cute. These are some like paint splatter sanctuary shorts. I could see these being anthro. I don't think they are though, but hopefully they will take those. I think they will. This is older Athleta. And of course all the consignment stores say that they don't take things that are like older than three or two years or something, but it's garbage day. And for some reason, like all of the garbage trucks back all the way down our streets, like in reverse. Like all consignment stores basically say that they don't take anything that's like older than three years. And this is probably what, 2012 or something. Mm. If you get the right piece, they definitely do take stuff that's older. This is a Sanctuary Top, which is a brand that consignment stores love. It's also new with tags. If they didn't take this, I would be gooped, gagged, shocked, and shook about that. We have another new with tags piece. This isn't really the categories they're looking for, but I'm hoping they'll take it because it's new with tags. It's loft. And though this is kind of fall-y by being a turtleneck and a long sleeve, it's really, really lightweight. And also gingham is extremely spring in my my opinion. I mean, I guess it's fall too, but like a blush gingham like that totally gives me spring. Here's another good like lightweight spring jacket. It's Talbot's size medium. It's this really cute, really light blue. I don't know if it's going to come up right in the camera, but this thing is in such good condition. It's a really, really soft cotton. It has these kind of like trendy wide drawstrings to it. I think that this is a good contender for a spring jacket. Here's my older Zara. So it's quite old Zara. They probably won't take this. It's so thin and so light though that it's like not taking up any room in this bin. So I'm gonna keep it in here, but <laughs> I'm sure I'll go home with that one. Then we have a J Crew. This one I'm sure they'll take. It's the black label, which is pretty modern. And it's just a cap sleeve, very once again, like spring Easter blouse. My biggest fear is that I'm gonna go in there and they're gonna be like, we have so much stuff. So sorry, we don't want anything. <laughs> okay, then we have a Madewell. As you can see, that's a newer Madewell label. It's just kind of like a boxy chambray top. Great for the season as well. This is a super cute top as well. This is loft again. And this is like a crossover kind of like puffed sleeve, tied wrap floral top. This is a little wrinkly. So that makes me a little nervous, but it is new with tags. So I like can't wash it, which <laughs> It's great. It's $70 new, which is ridiculous. It's Lou and Gr I wonder, oh my gosh, it's another romper. Okay, <laughs> that's why it was 70. I was like, is this a tank top? Oh my gosh, not me having like a million secret rompers that I didn't even know about. Here's a really good spring jacket. We got a Banana Republic. It is the outlet, but when I sell mall brands, I don't care if it's outlet or not. And when I consign it, I don't care if it is or not. Like, honestly, who cares? It's always the same material. There are some examples of outlet pieces that are worse quality than regular pieces, but a lot of times it's the same quality. So this is kind of like a Bomber. And it's in this really nice blush pink. And for some reason, it's really bugging me that I don't have any of these things buttoned or zipped. And so before I actually go in, I'm gonna sit here and I'm going to zip and button all of these. I don't know why, but I just feel like they should be. Garbage truck number three or four. I mean, even if I was filming in our normal filming room, you'd hear the garbage trucks. <laughs> I'm on the same side of the house 
Anyways, okay, so here's a better look at the Banana Republic. Really cute. No reason why they wouldn't take this. It's in like new condition. Beautiful. All right, here's kind of a pair of jeans. So I guess we'll see, but it's level 99, which is a good consigning brand. These are like joggers. These don't scream like fall or winter to me. So I guess I just hope they take them. They're camo, which once again, like I said, they do sell a lot of camo there. We will see. Joie. I despise selling joie. I don't know how they feel about joie, but I mean, it's silk. And again, I mean, it's taking up no room in this bin. Here's a J Jill. This is more of like a sweatshirt material, but it's really, really cute with these like crochet details. And it actually is short sleeve. And J Jill is another one of those kind of like professional brands that I feel like they do take quite frequently. This is an older piece, but it is anthro. So it's tiny and it's size large too, which, is rare for anthro, I feel like. They also do love a good boho piece at this place, so maybe, we'll see. They might know that that's a little older, possibly. We got another kind of spring jacket, and this one is new with tags. If this wasn't new with tags, I would not be bringing this one in. It is loft. It's kind of a tweed, like wine color, burgundy jacket. Again, not my favorite style if it wasn't new with tags, but it's a good spring jacket, I feel like. How is there a chapstick in the pocket if it's new? I'm glad I just spotted that or they would have been like, okay. All right, this is a good piece, I think. It's an older label. It's Trina Turk once again, but it's from some 25th anniversary thing. It's a swim cover. So I think that's a benefit for them taking this or like a like a plus. It improves my odds, I feel like. It's also super Emilio Pucci-esque. I, I feel pretty good about that one. We got another Numatex jacket. I just found this yesterday at the bins. I should actually rip off the clearance price, even though the clearance price is 80. It's Express, it's not out Outlet. This is so cute. It is a blazer with like blue and black and white houndstooth print throughout. No reason that they wouldn't take that. They have to. Then we have Cloth and Stone, another really good brand to bring them. Any of those brands that like, I, I consider that they like border on being anthro. Like every, every once in a while they're anthro, but not super often. So Cloth and Stone, Sanctuary. <sighs> Um, I know there's more. They're just not coming to me right now. But those type of brands, oh, like Blank NYC, maybe kind of like Chaser type pieces. Those I feel like are really good consignment brands because they're hard to sell because they're just oversaturated and they're usually not anthro. They're good for them. Okay. Oh my gosh. I have to take the clearance tag off of this immediately. So this is a dress by a brand I would normally not pick up to consign. So pretty, so cute, so good style for consignment. And it's a plus size Old Navy piece. So great size too. New with tags. So that's why I got it to consign. But I just saw that the clearance price on this was 47 cents. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. They're gonna be like, okay, well, if it retails at 47 cents, what are we supposed to market at? And I'll be like, that is a good question. How does a clothing brand even make something that they can sell for 47 cents? Another loft. This one's really cute. I really like this print. Adorbs. Oh, we have, I have two pieces of this brand. So it's Flax, which I have no luck selling, but Flax makes like only linen stuff basically which is a perfect spring summer kind of beach material. I actually have a couple more flax pieces, but this one and the other one are a good style and the other ones are kind of like, Neh. so I'm just gonna try these two for now. And then if I go like a little later in the season or in like a couple weeks, I'll bring the other ones in. This is a pair of shorts. They're not that interesting. And again, that's a piece I wouldn't pick up to consign normally, except that once again, it's a new with tag piece. This is Chico's and it was $50 new. Just crazy. Once again, it's a little like wrinkly. I can't wash it if it's new with tags, which is frustrating. This is a current air top. That is a brand that I do usually love to sell, but this is not an anthro one. So I actually did have it listed for a little bit. It wasn't doing that good to the consignment with her. Here's the other flax. I don't know. We'll see. I hope they just know what flax is. Cause like it kind of always looks a little like slubbed and not that nice. 
but that's just what it's supposed to look like. Here's a really cute top. This is more of like a junior style. I'm sure Plato's would take this, but I'm gonna try it here. It's Lulu's again, size small. Once again, good brand to bring to almost any consignment store. Then we have another Anthro piece. This is Arian Alley. That brand does not do very good. Really, really cute spring blouse, floral. I am gonna be screwed if they're like, we're not taking anything with long sleeves. <sighs> I hope not. And Taylor, a long sleeve spring blouse, floral. <laughs> Okay, here's a couple pieces I have really been saving up and hoping that they would take. So first up, we have a new with tags, Lovers and Friends dress. Lovers and Friends is quite expensive. It's sold on Revolve a lot. This, I don't see why they wouldn't take. Really cute, love this purple lavender color to it. Then we have this dress. This is a brand that does not sell at all for me. This is a striped kind of like gathered, almost like wrap, like a wide pinstripe. It is Derek Lamb 10 Crosby, size medium, not that that matters. This brand, I mean, it's super expensive retail and I'm sure they know that, but I wouldn't be able to sell it. So I'm just like, please take it. And I'm hopeful they'll give me a decent amount. And then same with this. This is French Connection, which honestly is one I don't pick up very often, but this this one's actually new with tags. It retailed for, I thought it had said, I think maybe I found it online. It retailed for like 200 bucks. This is also super, super cute. It's like puff sleeve printed cotton. They gotta take this. If they didn't take this one, I'd be like, really? <laughs> like, Huh? This is adorable. I have found this brand to consign a couple times. It's called Natural Life. No clue where it's from. No clue what the dealio is with it. But a lot of times their stuff is really cute in my opinion. So I do like to get it to consign. This really gives me like a Christy Dawn vibe almost. It's actually a maxi dress. Hopefully they'll take it. This is not my favorite pattern or style, but it is Soft Surroundings. That is a brand that I do like to take them pretty frequently. I don't know. I don't know. It's long sleeves, so we'll see. This is Cynthia Rowley, yep. And that is like the TJ's tag. I'm sure they'll take this one. It is really cute. I think it's, no, I don't think it's, it could be like a cotton linen blend. A lot of those TJ's kind of brands, they actually do take. So Cynthia Rowley, Rachel Zoe, Tahari, Calvin Klein, Tommy, all that type of stuff. Here's a J. Crew. This is a cute top. I would, actually I had this listed for a long time myself and it never sold. So hopefully they'll take it so I can finally get rid of that. We got a skirt and this is Draper James, but it actually is the Coles line because it's Draper James RSVP. And it is a gingham green and black skirt. It's a bigger size, which is great. We then have another sanctuary top. Again, a brand that I love to take them. This is the type of top where it's just like, when they have those strict rules of like no long sleeves, I'm like, so are you telling me that this is not spring? <laughs> like. What season is this for then? Like, huh? Or like say, say sometimes you'll find like a sweater that's like super pastel, it's floral, it's whatever. And they like don't want it. Cause they're like, mm, it's a sweater and it's spring. And I'm like, that's, this is a spring sweater. Or sometimes it'll be like fall and you'll find a short sleeve top that's like dark plaid or something like that. Like very obviously fall and they'll be like, no, whatever rant over. These I'm a little weary about. They are Pistola, which I do not have much luck with, but it is a more expensive denim brand. And these are skinny. So, I mean, it's a more modern skinny cause they're like slim versus skinny. We'll see. They're also distressed. And honestly, I get so, like, I don't know how these places feel about distress. Is that a positive? Is it a negative? I feel like we've like flip-flopped on how we feel about that. I don't know. We have an Ann Taylor. I'm sure this one will be considered too fall, but it's really, really cute. And like, it's a lightweight blouse. It's also really, really nice. So we'll see. We have a Torrid, really nice, just kind of like tunic length tank, basic. We have some leggings that are Nike. I don't even remember these. <laughs> I guess they're taking athletics, so I'll keep them in here. We have, oh yeah, some Vince kind of like legging pants. Again, that nice like burgundy current 
color. These are just not a style that does well for me. I did have them listed and they're not selling. This is a really, really cute J. Crew blouse. I have had listed for a really long time and it just won't sell for me. It's J. Crew with a brand called Drake's London. It has giraffes all over it. So cute. I'm hoping they take it just because like, I always see it and I feel bad that I can't sell it. Two more pieces. We have another loft. This is, it's almost like a tie print. This is what I'd compare it to once again. It's long sleeves, so. <laughs> but like, tell me you're supposed to wear that in the fall. Like, only if it's hot. And then last, another loft. That is long sleeves. <laughs> Great. Okay guys, so you're gonna need to send me all the luck you have in your minds and bodies that they will take more springy long sleeves. I'm a little nervous, again, just because I know that they are a bit picky and a bit stickler-y. Again, I mean, if I can't get them to take these, I, as you guys know at this point, go to Turnstyle, which is a genuine consignment store, a traditional consignment store near me. They are not picky at all because they are an actual like normal consignment store and they will take long sleeve blouses for spring so i'm not gonna be like screwed but for this video i will feel very sad <laughs> if, if we come back with like what like five dollars so i'm going to pack all this back up and then i will weigh it and i will let you guys know how much we are in and then once they open for the day i'm gonna show up and we're gonna be some of the first people there for the day so that they take everything that, i mean that'd be the good that'd be the best turn of events as if i come home with an empty bin but <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> I will catch you guys in a second once I pack this up and weigh it. Okay, everyone. So we are on our way to go consign now. And I did do the math and I did do the weighing. And I gotta say, the confidence levels have gotten a little shaky. <laughs> we have 32.2 pounds of clothing. And currently, my bins charge $2.19 a pound. It is Minnesota, so there is no tax on clothing. So in other words, for the items in the tub, we have spent $70.00. And 52 cents. So I am, like that's, that's more than I expected, but I am still not nervous that like overall, I can certainly make more than my money back with all of the different like consigning and buy sell trading opportunities that I have in my area. But I'm a little shaky, weary, and achy and quakey about if we're gonna make the money back from this stop. So even the greats will fall and <laughs> I don't I don't know. I am I'm a little more nervous about this one, which I know last time I was nervous then too, and like then it all worked out and what Ever, but like I'm not I'm not doing this for the drama I just like I I don't know I didn't think it'd be 71 almost dollars and oh I'm, I'm a little worried about the like long sleeves and just how like strict and picky they are <sighs> I suppose we'll see I think if anything's gonna save us it's the couple of new with tags items for sure like the new with tags French connection dress and I don't know maybe if they do mark up the Derek Lamb 10 Crosby, that could help us out too. But I don't have anything super high end and I don't have as much new with tags as last time. I have more items, like quantity wise. We are gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get there in about like 10 or 15 minutes and we will see our fate. But I'm, I am not cautiously optimistic. I am cautiously cautious or cautiously pessimistic. <laughs> I'm gonna go there. I'll probably just hang out there. I will let you guys know the results, but fingers crossed again. Cross all your fingers and toes for me and let's see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> so I promise you guys before we get into this, into the results, that I genuinely was nervous. I wasn't overacting. I kind of thought I was maybe going to break even. I thought maybe they'd give me like mm, 75. Five-ish because I knew I wouldn't get much for a lot of those blouses. I was starting to get worried that they wouldn't take long sleeves. I was actually predicting maybe like if I was lucky, like at the most 90 bucks. And I was gonna say that that was a really good turnout and conclusion. It was a little better. <laughs> 
So they took, which I didn't even know I had this many items, 41 items from me. Um, and <laughs> it was $214.30. <laughs> definitely, definitely better than I expected. More than double the like most that I would have predicted. So I am not really gonna go through every single thing that they took, but let's look at like some summaries. They did tell me that they definitely don't take like much for long sleeves. And she took some from me that she thought were better brands or like really good styles. She was super nice, by the way, which I've had her before. She's always super nice. They did take the jeans, the Pistola jeans. They actually did take the Nike leggings. They took the Vans pants. They took the J. Crew joggers. Men Republic jacket was taken. They took the Judy blue shorts. They took the camo jacket from Banana Republic. The Talbots jacket. I wish I could See how much I got for each thing. They did take the flax, both flax, so that's great. Of course, they took the French Connection. They even took the soft surroundings. They at least took one of the Trina Turks. I have not run into the other. They took the Lovers and Friends. They took the Express Blazer. Actually, I don't even think... They might have skipped the Trina Turk like dress. They took the swim cover one, which whatever, that's fine. I'll just consign the other one somewhere else. Um, I saw they skipped that blue Talbots jacket because I think there was a tiny little spot. And then they did skip the Derek Lamb 10 Crosby because there's a spot that I didn't see, like a red marker. So that's my bad. And I don't think they took either rompers, which is not surprising. So I guess I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> so that's good. I just need to listen to my instinct and listen to myself when I tell myself that, Jack, they don't take rompers and jumpsuits, like, ever. If I just, like, really hone in on totally only following all the rules that I do know, I think we'll be good. That was really successful. And as per usual, I hope you guys liked this. I love doing these videos because it's something that I just love to do anyway. So if I can take you guys and kind of like put my thoughts and stuff into words, I think it helps me kind of keep my own process kind of in check with myself. That sounds weird, but like if I speak it, like this thing about jumpsuits and rompers, like I feel like I will remember that better in the future. So let me know if you guys liked this. Let me know what you thought and if you would like to see more of these. And also, as always, let me know if this is something that you do. Do you take bin stuff and bring it to consignment stores? It is one of my favorite hobbies and favorite sports. So I do it all the time and I love it. I'm gonna put all this money to my student loans. So that's great. We gotta, we love being able to pay more than minimum on student loans, of course. <laughs> that's always is not fun. I was gonna say that's fun. It's not fun, but it's it's good. So yeah, that's that's how this went. I have to go now go to Target and go to Home Goods super quick for a couple things that we need. But I will see you guys on Thursday for kind of part two of the bins haul. It's just a different day of bin stuff. Really good stuff. This is like the better stuff, I would say. That's coming on Thursday. And then on Saturday, of course, regular What's Sold Saturday with Ryan. My sales have actually been picking up this week. So I am pretty excited for What's Sold Saturday. This is gonna be pretty good. I will see you guys when you guys choose to see me next. Goodbye.